Hey everyone, Roblox Dove here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an E to pick up sword. So right here is the sword. As you can see, you cannot pick it up by stepping on it. And when you press E, you can equip it. So let's get right into it. So, so to start off, I'm going to delete the sword I already have done and create a new one. So we're just going to go over to the toolbox, pick up the tool, uh, whichever tool you want, and then uh, well, we can use that. So put it on the ground wherever you like. And... With this sword, you can go ahead and leave all the scripts in. Uh, we don't need thumbnail camera. And if you see any touch interest, make sure you, do, make sure you destroy them because that makes it so you can pick up the sword by touching it and we don't want that. Um, so right here, on inside handle, you want to insert an attachment. And this attachment, uh, you don't need to do anything to it. Just insert a proximity prompt. And this prompt can be customized. So the action text and the, uh, there should be object text right here. So Object text is what it is and action text is uh, what it does. So I'm going to use pick up and I'm going to use object text to say sword. So now I'm done that. Um, I can change the activation distance, the hold duration. I'm going to make it one. Uh, I can change the uh, key that we use. So I can uh, effectively make that anything I'd like. So I'm going to make it Q and uh, you can customize a lot of stuff. So with that, you can go ahead and insert a script inside the proximity prompt and this script, you can call it something like pickup script. And in here, we want to create three variables. So the first one will be local sword or tool for that matter. Local tool equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. So what this does is script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent, which gets the sword or tool up here. And uh, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and create your second variable, which is local prompt equals script dot parent, and then the third one local handle equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent that's three parents uh script parent parent and parent which is the handle and with those three variables we can get started i'm actually gonna make it look a bit cleaner by just going up uh going up over here placing this in and then moving on so uh, from there you want to do if uh if tool colon find first so find first the send in as well is what we would use but roblox hasn't enabled it as yet as a feature yet it still shows up so that's a bit weird but it's there and we can't use it so that sucks but uh, we're just going to use the second argument in find first child uh so we want to find a touch interest because roblox automatically creates one and we need to destroy it in the script so we're going to do touch interest comma and then true so this just uh, recursively checks and you want to also copy this so once you've done that you want to do then and then go down and then in here you want to paste that in colon and destroy and once you've done that uh you want to move on and down here you want to do prompt dot triggered colon connect function and then right here you want to do player just like that and then in here you want to do uh so what we want to do is move the sword into the player's backpack but the first thing we want to do is make sure the player isn't holding any tool so let's get the player's humanoid so uh if player dot character colon find first child of of class and inside these brackets we're going to do speech marks and humanoid and then hit enter you should get a then and n and and then from there you want to do uh let's actually do local local humanoid equals and then player dot character find first child of class humanoid and then we can just instead of that just do hum like that and then right here we can do humanoid colon unequip tools and then uh, two brackets that's a built-in function which unequips the tools and then from there we want to go down and then right here we can do a uh, sword so or not sword a uh, tool uh, not too straight <laughs> tool dot parent equals player dot character this effectively immediately equips the tool so if the if you didn't know when a tool is equipped it goes from the player's backpack to the player's uh, character. So uh, we're just gonna put it to the character. So we unequip all their tools and put it to the character. Then from there, we wanna destroy the proximity prompt. So we're just gonna do prompt colon destroy. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and close out that script, hit play and test out our new E to pick up sword. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and step on it. As you can see, I cannot pick it up by stepping on it. It says sword, it says pick up. And if I hit Q, I get the sword in my hand. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now I can showcase the sword going here. So as you can see, classic sword. I unequip it, it's gone. Where did it go? It went to my player's backpack. 
Uh, I equip the sword, it's gone, it's inside my player's character. I unequip it, it's in here. That's all there really is to this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, hopefully this helped you in, the, in your game. And if this did help you in your game, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated, it means a lot to me. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.